welcome to Spoony Style. My name is Melanie and I just want to thank you for joining me today. First of all, let's start off with some Spoony lingo. The Spoon Theory is something you can read about at ButYouDon'tLookSick.com and that's where you can get more information on the idea of using spoons to describe energy and also that's where the word Spoony comes from. Invisible illnesses are when people have diseases that you can't really see by first looking at them and a spoonie is someone that it affects to the point to where they can't function. Not everybody with invisible illness is a spoonie. So a normie is someone who does not have an illness that affects the way they live. This cast is a special webcast for all of my friends out there with invisible illnesses who want to figure out how to look alive and do their best every day. I do not usually wear makeup like this on a daily basis. This is a special occasion just for you all. And I don't wanna scare you by showing you my regular face. I do have a short video where I show what I do on a normal basis. And in that video, you do get to see me the way that I usually look every day. Most of our Spoonie style videos will be done right here from my actual bed. This is my bed. And the reason for that is because Spoonies or people with invisible illnesses do spend the most of their day in the bed, unfortunately. For all of the non-Spoonies out there, I do need you guys to understand that it's not like we don't want to do more or that we're lazy. It's just that we have a lot of pain and maybe some fatigue that causes us to spend a lot of time in bed. Boonies, this site is to help you learn that you are not alone and that you shouldn't be hard on yourself because maybe you can't get out of bed as much as you'd like to or you can't do as many things as you'd like to do on a normal basis. Learn to live and enjoy your life and also cope with your illnesses and stresses that you have on a daily basis. And that's basically the goal of Spoonie Style, to help you have style while preserving your spoons. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Melanie. I am a wife of 18 and a half years. I'm a mother to a 17-year-old, a 16-year-old, uh, a 14-year-old, and a 12-year-old. My 17, 16, and 12 year olds are girls, and my 14 year old is a boy. I am a teacher. I currently am not working, and I went through years of pushing myself to work every day. And I'd have to say, for the past four years, I really couldn't do it, and I had a lot of pain, but I forced myself to do it until I finally did have to stop working. So I decided that I would spend my time in bed teaching other people with invisible illnesses how to preserve their spoons. And that's how we ended up with Spoonie Style. I want to welcome you and ensure you that we are going to have a lot of fun here at Spoonie Style. Um, I can't guarantee that I'll have this much pep uh, every time. A lot of times I don't have the energy just like you. I really waited till a day till I felt like I had a lot of spoons and a lot of pep to offer to record this first one so that I could put my best face forward for you at first. Uh, a couple things that you should know about me is that I have something called photophobia, which means that the amount of light that I have coming into my room right now in order to give you decent light for this cast is not normal for me. I usually sit in the dark on a daily basis just so that I can try to ward off a migraine that might be coming up. Um, and the light usually makes that worse. So this is not normal for me, the amount of light that I have in my room, and it's going to take me a lot of spoons to do this broadcast for you today. The plan is to have uh, a weekly cast where we talk about different things, um, but I can't guarantee that I will have one every week because I may have some down times where I have a flare. What I'm going to try to do is stock up some vlogs for you so that even those times when I have a flare and I don't feel like I can do it, we can still post one on for you. 
Next week, we will talk about grocery shopping when you're low on spoons, how to make out that list so that you can navigate through the store efficiently, and we'll talk about how to sort your groceries when you get home so that you can find what you need when you need it without getting exhausted. In March, we'll talk about some of my favorite recipes and how to make sure you still get properly nourished when you have no spoons to cook for yourself. Here on YouTube, feel free to leave messages and comments about the different posts that I put on here. However, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to weed through all of the comments that you leave here. So I recommend that you email me on my Gmail account. There is a Facebook page that you can go to and you can like. And I have daily questions there. And then also you can use that opportunity to post the answers to those questions and read what other people say and maybe meet some new friends. <laughs>